Well, saving the galaxy is by no means an easy feat to accomplish, but was the journey doing so a worthwhile venture? Travel with me as I discuss the supernova that is Mass Effect. Oh, look. You are Commander Shepard, a soldier with the Alliance Navy given the task of retrieving an alien artifact supposedly created by an extinct race. Something goes terribly wrong, two team members perish and you are now tasked with bringing the traitor Sarin to justice. As you get closer to the truth about what is really going on, there is an immensely bigger threat to the galaxy that needs your attention. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. As far as scope goes, the story in Mass Effect is one of the biggest out there. There is a huge cast of characters, each with their own backstories and personalities for you to discover. Everyone sets themselves apart from each other, no one seems dry and uninteresting, and you quickly begin to choose who your favourite is. The different alien races you encounter all have their different mannerisms and traits. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. As humanity is new to the galactic community, some treat you differently than others, and it all works together to truly immerse you in this world that Bioware has developed. There is also an extensive codec or history and general knowledge that is at your disposal to check out and read, but some of the more important parts are narrated. A nice touch for people who feel put off by walls of text. Thresher moths are subterranean carnivores that spend their entire lives eating or searching for something to eat. The main story arc is well developed and keeps you engaged with what's going on. You start off as a soldier who is set apart from the rest by a past event, you are brought into the limelight and become the first ever human spectre, the galaxy's most revered of warriors, and then it is left to you to bring everyone together and destroy the threat hanging over everyone's lives. It's compelling and brings everything in this game to a close with a big crescendo ending and leaves you wanting more. Suit up! We're going outside! Okay. Gameplay can be split up into three different areas. The RPG element, the combat sections and the conversational system. Being that this is a Bioware RPG, you can create a custom character, to the extent of their gender and their face, as well as what class they are, though you are always shepherded and voiced by someone else, it's a nice touch to be able to see your creation in cutscenes and taking part in the action. You still sassing me, soldier? I think you need more physical training. You level up your character by completing quests, exploring planets and systems for resources, and destroying enemies allowing you to put points into different attributes and powers that your character has. Exploration is a big selling point here, as you can explore different cities and cultures, as well as different planets on your land vehicle, the Mako. Problems arise though in these sections, as the car just feels way too floaty, sometimes rolling down the side of mountains, or just generally not going where you want to. An interesting addition is the morality system. It acts a bit like Bioware's Knights of the Old Republic, however, in this game, everything you do is justifiably good. You are trying to save the galaxy after all. But it depends on you as to whether you want to carry on answering awkward questions or just punch someone in the face. Uh, say goodnight, Manuel. <laughs> oh my God. What? While the morality doesn't carry any massive changes to the story, it does allow you to either avoid fights or gives you more options in conversations. Characters will also treat you differently depending on what you do. Again, adding to this greatly crafted immersion. We will hold the line! Combat can sometimes bring the game down a bit. Everything is in real time, much like a third person shooter. There is also cover involved, but this isn't really implemented all too great, making you run into the object to use it instead of a button press or prompt to essentially snap in or out of it. This makes the game feel clunky and awkward. Often, you don't go into cover when you want to, resulting in some frustrating moments during the more hectic and adrenaline pumping scenes. You also get to tell your squad mates what to do and what powers to use. Just pause the gameplay, tell them what to do on what enemy, and watch the fireworks fly. It's just a bit disappointing that the AI does not really live up to the expectation, often taking a while to do anything, or just dying off too easily, and becoming useless in any sort of combat situation. The conversational system is much like other games in the Bioware library, 
but Mass Effect introduces a sort of wheel to the idea. It helps with deciphering what choices the Paragon, the Renegade, or the middle ground where everyone is happy. It's effective at helping you choose what to say, giving small quips of what you're about to say without giving away the entire line of dialogue. Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? Don't kill me, I surrender! Smart move. Where's the quarry? Sometimes, taking too long to decide what to say can make things look a little bit awkward, as your shepherd just stares blankly into space, not saying a word, not doing anything. With a finely crafted story, immersive world, great characters and development, accompanied with some nice exploration, make Mass Effect a done deal for me. The only things that can hold it back is the poor implementation of combat and cover, plus the poor AI in this respect. Some awkward driving controls make for some frustrating moments and can break the gameplay up a little too much at times. However, since everything else in this game seems to have been given all the attentions of the developers, I can't really give it anything less than 10.